Okay. Shalom, Akion. Once again, it's the high spirit with Judah, the gym Mississippi Cap. Give it all honor and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Kai, for Dash. I saw to give double honor to our apostles, the great millstone, who well. Peace and blessed to the house of David the elect. Amen. Show yourselves men. Be a man. Be manly. Take action. Okay? Um, And the first scripture I want to start out with is the book of, of course, Isaiah chapter 46, verse 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O you transgressors. What, what were we? We were once transgressors. But, and we were once uh, Babylonianized, effeminized, emasculated. All right, we were not in our masculine frame. All right, whether you were in the world and you were a nigga, or you, you were just uh, weak-minded, whatever it may have been, you were not in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. But in this knowledge, the Most High is all about sculpting us and, and grooming us to the image that He wants us to be, and have the mentality and the mindset that He wants us to have, man. All right, and, and He grooms us through circumstances, man. All right, He grooms us through challenges. Okay. There's a, uh, a a quote, a saying from the movie Alexander, and there was a scene where Alexander was talking to his dad when Alexander was a little boy, and his dad said, "Kings aren't born, son; they're made through sufferings, through hardship, something to that effect." Okay, so a lot of these circumstances that we go through is there to mold our personality, man. All right, mold our character. Okay, and. Two things that, you know, a few things that we have to learn how to do is do things with all our might, man. Okay? And when it comes to this truth, we can't be lackadaisical in this truth, man. You can't be laid back. The laid back stuff is in the world, man. We can't. We have to be men of action. All right, if you look into masculine energy, one of the things that, one of the things that's um, under masculine energy is movement, action, all right? And the thing that's classified as feminine energy is being stagnant, being still. Think of a man's energy. It's like running waters. Powerful running waters. Running waters is powerful. That's why you have what you call a, a water generator. A, 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 what do you call it? Hydroelectricity. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's something to do with the power of flowing water. Showing you that when your energy is in motion, that's a form of power. You're generating power as a man when you are in motion. Our woman's spirit is stagnant. That's why uh, the feminine frame is to be domestic. All right, she's that she has a nest, so her energy is develop a nest, a woman. But the man's energy is build, build, grow, learn, do. Okay. From there, I'm going to get um Ecclesiastes. No, I'm sorry, Ecclesiastes. All right. If you want to say something, you know. Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. So enough with that laid back stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't be a brother that's you, you doing, you, you embracing artificial stimulation, whether you're sitting there watching TV all day. What what action took place that day? You sit you you're sitting there playing video games all day. What action took place when you playing video games? What did you really accomplish playing a video game, man? You sitting there watching women online. What feat was that, man? All right. Even if you just sitting there watching videos, you have men who've been watching videos for five years and haven't been to what count, man? All right. What we have to learn to do as men is to learn how to step out of our comfort zone, and that's how the most I deals with you. <clears throat> go outside, man. Go outside. A lot of problems that brothers have is the result of being stagnant. The, the nature of yourself, the nature of your flesh, is when you're stagnant and you're dormant, it's almost as though your flesh goes into self-destructive mode and your mind turns on itself, man. And it finds a negative way to release energy. All right? So you have to produce. Men are we're created to create, build, produce, expand, grow, live, learn, do. That's man. Do. Okay? Um, another thing we have to learn how to do is to overcome the walls, break through the walls in our minds, man. 
overcome, her, hop over the obstacles and break through those glasses and our minds to say you can't do it, man. All right? Because yeah, how about Shimmy how I got our back, man? Okay? Whatever it may be that you're going through and it's path, part of the path is mental. Some of the things is not even adversity stopping you. You are your own adversity at times, man. <clears throat> That's right. Okay? <coughs> we have to we have to stop being our own adversity, man. And, and, and men of the Lord shouldn't have uh, the spirit of self-doubt, man. All right? Men of the Lord are... Hey, you, he just said lackadaisical. There you go, man. And spirit. Hey, it's the spirit of the elder in the camp was just speaking on being lackadaisical, man. All right, that's the spirit reiterating, man. All right, but hey, hey, that's that's the point, man. We a lot of times you you put a what's that uh you put a spark plug you, you put a spark plug slot, bro. I'm talking and flipping. You put a yeah, you put a a, a spark plug to your spirit when you just do when you do, man. It's a catalyst. All you have to do, it's like it's like you want to lose weight, right? And you think you see everybody jogging. You see guys got their shirt off. They all muscular and they jogging. You look far from them, man. All you have to do is get your butt out the house. The biggest step in being in the gym is going to the gym. Getting up. That's all you got to do. All you got to do, if you want to get in shape, take your butt to the gym. Step out of that zone of comfort, that stagnant state, and all those things, all those screens that Esau puts in front of you so you can be a damn lab rat in your damn house, killing yourself, eating comfort food all damn day, playing video games all day, watching the sport all day, watching women all day, and you look back at your day, you ain't do shit, man. We can't be that no more, man. Can't be comfortable with the veil. We can't be comfortable with the veil, then curse out the veil on Saturday, man. We have to do, man. We have to take action. We have to be responsible, man. All right? We can't have a spirit of self-doubt. If you fail, do it again. You can't fear failure because you 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 can't be afraid to do something because you fear failure. It's a 50% 50 chance you're going to fail because you never did it. When was the last time you did something one time you was an expert? You never did it a day before in your life. And all of a sudden you did it one time, now all of a sudden you're an expert, man. It doesn't work like that, man. You learn how to hoop through trial and error. You have to, you have to double dribble to learn what double dribbling was. You have to travel to learn what traveling was, man. All right? Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Hamashiach, which strengthened me, man. I can do all things, man. Hey, hey you got a fear of reading, man, on the highways and the byways. Repeat this in your mind before you start speaking, man. All right, you got you want to make a point, but you scared you gonna mess up on your words. So what, man? Repeat that in your mind. I can do all things through Hamashiach, which strengthen me, man. That's right. All right. For every for every uh weakness, there's a strength that comes out of that weakness once you when you make effort, man. Once you just make effort, the the power of man, the power of you is pushing, man. All you have to do is push. Get pushing consistently equals power, man. Conquering challenges causes confidence. Conquering challenges causes confidence, man. You want to have more value about yourself? Start putting in your data program that you've actually reached certain goals, man. Whether it's in the spirit or just things that on your everyday life, man. All right? The spirit been reiterating for bros to put things in writing, you know, <clears throat> whether it's, you know, you having a, a budget book or you having a journal. You know, writing about your day, your goals, you know, and then when you get to the end of that day, how everything went, you know, did you follow through with, with your particular goals, you know, the results. Hey, and that's the spirit, the spirit been on me to get on that, man. I have to get on that. Some, something that's called night planning. The night before, plan your day. Or if you get up early in the morning, plan your day that day and make off a checklist, man. Then, then you'll feel accomplished. Then you can stick your chest out a little bit, man. Because your life is your government. How you deal with your bills, your rent, and your responsibilities, the things that's coming in, your income, and the things going out, your outcome, are your expenses, how you balance all that, that's your kingdom. That's your government, man. We just can't be just going off the spirit. Oh, yeah, I forgot to pay this. Oh, yeah, I got to pay this. Nah, man, we, gotta, we, we can't let Babylon make us that spontaneous like that, man. 
Sirach 10 and 1. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. What's the first government? You, man. Us. The, your, your, your house, your apartment, your car note, your cell phone. That's your government. Well, what the Lord told uh, Ezra, set his house in order. Set your house in order. Then it also says in Proverbs, how man has a rule of his spirit, man. Hey, but rule means to regulate. Part of things that help you rule of your spirit is guidelines that you have for you. How much, what's your, what's your drinking limit? All right, what's your, how long am I going to be out the house limit, man? What's your spending limit? That's ruling over your spirit. Your spirit ain't number energy. It's impulse. Concentrated energy is like an impulse. All right? You have to rule over that because if you don't rule over that, you're an animal. You're a kid. You're a little boy. Even if you got a bunch of hair on your face, man. So we have to constantly go back to our uh, solitude and our, uh, uh, the locker room, so to speak, speak and, and make sure that we're living according to standards and guidelines, man. Okay? Because this truth is all about being a man. Okay? And the last scripture I'm going to get, unless you have something to acquire. Uh, everything that needs to be said was said. Okay, come. So rock 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and your house shall fight for thee, man. Hey, we got to be lions in this truth, man. We got to be dogs. We got to be hungry, man. All right? Hey, hey, doing the works, reading, and we, we got to be hungry, man. Complacency, that's, that's for the kingdom. We could be complacent. Let our servants do all the work, but right now we got to be hungry, man. Hey, but with that, I hope you brothers are edified. Once again, I want to give our honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rokha, Kadash, Yahweh Unasar, Apostles, Great Millstone, Ruel, Peace of Blessed, House of David, the Elect. Till the next time, Shalom.